Hi, I'm Jacob Adams and thanks for tuning in. Today we're gonna go into common sense self-mastery. That's right, common sense self-mastery. What is it? Uh, what, what does it feel like? What is it about? Uh, believe it or not, common sense self-mastery is something I've been really honing in, dialing in, and trying to create the words or looking to create the words as to see how can I explain what it is that the overall theme as to what my life's work's been about. Common sense, self-mastery, okay? And so whether it was training in the gym, into bodybuilding, yoga, cycling, uh, there was a point in my life where I was training 18 hours in one week, literally in pushing my body for 18 hours in a week. And that was an example of ex exercising self-mastery. We consistently grow up in a world where we see heroes like Superman, Batman, and as little kids, we see, we see these heroes emulate what it is to be a master, a hero, and deal with their weaknesses, right? Uh, Batman has some sort of anger kind of thing going on that he has to work with. Uh, Superman has Lois Lane and his, his kryptonite. And so self-mastery, as far as I've seen in my own life and in the life of my clients and people that I work with on a team, it's self-mastery becomes so important to get to the next level of our, of our goals, of our life, of our self-actualization. Self-mastery becomes key. So then, what does common sense self-mastery mean? It means that every area that I've ever seen in my life is when I wanna excel, I have to look at a scientific sound principle that is common sense. It's often just looking at you right in the face, right? You're tired, how's your water intake looking today? How's your sleep looking today, right? Common sense. And then you wanna repeat that energy, do it for the whole year. Aim to have water intake and sleep. Look at your sleep cycles and your water intake the whole year. Look at your vegetable intake the whole year, right? So it's not just to have, yeah, I have, I have an apple. I ate some broccoli a month ago. No, it's what are you doing over repeated, repeated months? And are you mastering that discipline? Are you, are you letting it dig deep into your cells where you can feel like, yeah, I know it, but I'm going to know it even more. I'm going to master this concept and this discipline even more. Make sense? Where meditation is sitting down and breathing. Anyone can do that. You're doing that right now. But to bring your attention, to bring your awareness together into the breath and sitting still is another level of what you're doing right now. So this is where I started seeing a theme that, wait, so meditation is a thing and it's actually something I gotta practice, but that's so simple. That's that common sense. Yet to take it to another level is a level of mastery. Does that make sense? When you look at the lift, the, the lift of uh, how to get in better shape, there's so many fancy things you could do. You could do hip adduction, hip, hip abduction with rubber bands. You can do uh, bar classes. You could, do, uh, you could do Zumba, right? There's so many ways to get in shape. And yet we have to look at strength first. We have to look at strength at some point. And one of the best ways to get strong is to do a deadlift and to get really proficient at a deadlift. As a matter of fact, if I look at a deadlift, I can see how well a person is connected to their, their core, how well the posture operates with the lower part of their body, how well their, the upper part of the body operates with their lower part of their body. I can see how overall strong they are, how they recover with just one lift. The most basic of lifts is the deadlift, right? There's that common sense thing I'm talking about, but it's not enough. It's not enough to just be pretty decent at the deadlift. There's such, such a deep level, just like there is in meditation, there's this other level of the deadlift where you have to get deeper and deeper into the deadlift. And then from the deadlift, you can move into a better squat, a better front squat, a better power clean, a better, uh, a better snatch, yet that deadlift is gonna be your foundation. And that's what I'm saying, that as much as I've seen every area of my life, there's a common sense self, there's a common sense to every level of mastery. 
that it's, it's founded on. And so that's where I've seen the theme of my life's work come to the surface over and over. And, I've, and, and you could say to yourself, maybe you just came up with this right now. No, I mean, I'm, I thought hours and hours and over the course of months and years to really coin that common sense self mastery, right? So what I'm saying is it's, it's something that I can't really avoid because it keeps bringing me back. No matter what I look at, there's this theme of, of connection to how to advance, how to, how to be a master of oneself. Uh, we, we were exposed as kids to Martin Luther King, right? Martin Luther King, he said something like, you know, we all know him and have said, I have a dream. One of the other things that he said was, that, that came to me before I got on video here, I said, Martin Luther King said this, and it, it stuck with me. He goes, no man can make me, uh, become, make me hate him. Now, I don't know how exactly he said that, but that was his general message. It was, no man will make me hate him. Because if you look at that simple sentence or that simple message he was getting at, Martin Luther King, he was getting at that he was the master of himself. He said, I'm not gonna let somebody take my goat or make me feel, feel a certain way. I'm in control of myself. And there, that little sentence that I've heard years ago, it comes up to the forefront even now today when I think of what is, what is it to be, when I got this video, like what is self mastery? And I thought of Martin Luther King saying that. I don't know why, I just remember like that's, that's an essence of what I get. And so if you're watching this video, if you made it this far in the video, something tells me that you're into self mastery. Something tells me that you resonate with this message. And, and this video, honestly, it's, it's not for people that are pessimistic. It's not for people that don't want to look inwardly and see how they can improve the life around them. This is not, this is not for those people. This is for someone like you that gets these concepts. Let me ask you this. Can somebody make you hate them? If you want to answer no, if you can answer no, this video was made just for you. As a matter of fact, uh, go ahead and subscribe to some of our stuff below. I think you're really gonna like what you see on some of our free content because we are dedicated to delving into this concept of self mastery. It's not because it's the easiest thing to do. It's not because it's um, something trendy. What we're after is increasing, expanding fulfillment and self-actualization in, in our lives, in the people, people, people's lives that we love. That's what we're about. And if that's not what you're about, then of course, this is not for you. But if you made it this far in this concept, something tells me this is for you. This is Jacob Adams touching on the surface of common sense self-mastery and what it means and how it applies to daily living. You have a goal right now. You have an, a desire right now. It could be to go to law school and it could be to be a doctor. It could be to be a mechanic. I guarantee that you're going to have to look at some fundamentals, some common sense practices, and you're going to have to master those common sense practices before you can move into these abstract ideas. So let's bring you down to the common sense stuff and master that and move on to the next step. We'll see you on the other side.